greetings, salutations everybody, and welcome to the channel of Flash, with my playthrough of Sonic Superstars on the Switch, blind playthrough of Sonic Superstars on the Switch, I think I forgot to specify that it was a blind playthrough during my last few episodes, but I'm rectifying that right now, blind playthrough, blind playthrough, blind playthrough, there we go, now it's rectified, those blind playthroughs I just said make up for the lack of blind playthroughs I said for the past three episodes, okay, I'm restarting, we're not going into the level at two minutes and 14 seconds in, even though it really doesn't matter. The only thing that I lose is me not getting the optimal time score. But like I said, we're not in an 80s arcade video game anymore. This is uh, the 2023s, or the 2020s I should say. We're in the modern era of gaming where I die from stupid shit like that. But we're in the modern era of gaming where scores don't even matter anymore. Nobody cares about high scores. Everybody only cares about speed runs now. If you get the highest speed run, then that's something to brag about. But no, unless you're going for some kind of point attack thing, which is a lot more rare than actual time attack or than speed runs. And it, it, they exist, but they're a lot more rare. Wait, shouldn't attack them? They don't make tripping. They're not make tripping. <laughs> Tripping. I'm gonna say they don't make trip in the style that Sonic was in when it was all like 8-bit or like pixelated during his playthrough. Or maybe it's only a Sonic thing. Maybe the other Sonic characters don't even get the pixelated treatment like Sonic did during his venture through this level. Oh, wait, no, I'm just kidding. There it is, there it is, there we go. I spoke way too soon. Uh, I should know my, I should learn my lesson from that. I'm never gonna speak too soon again. From now on, I'm only gonna speak too late. Too late. I don't know which one's worse, speaking too early or speaking too late. Ideally, you wanna speak right on time. Just. Dragon, please stop getting up there. Mm. Oh, something just pushed me. I don't know what pushed me. Something pushed me. Okay, just gonna burn everything I see. So I'm very skepti skeptical about going on these alternate pathways because I believe they might lead me... I'm gonna go back to normal. Because I believe they might lead... Don't get on the ceiling! I believe they might lead me into a special stage ring. A special stage area, which I want to avoid like a plague. Because they are such a waste of time. The only thing that happens to me every time I get into do those special stages is me just trying to purposely kill myself. Which we do not condone here on the channel of Flash. Unless it's absolutely necessary. And by absolutely necessary, I mean like me saving a couple minutes. Me killing myself is worth not having to undergo a couple of minutes of me chasing down a metal. Which ultimately won't even be worth it because I'm not even going into the shop. You know what, I think I will check out- I'll check out the shop one last time before the end of the playthrough. Maybe I'll buy something just for shits and giggles. But no, yeah, other than- other than that, I have no real desire to go back into the shop. Maybe if they actually had something worthwhile to buy instead of just these cosmetics for a robot, then I would be more inclined in me getting medals. Like if they gave you some kind of medal, or they gave you the option to buy some kind of power-up, then that would make the medals worth it. Yeah, they could give me some kind of power-up that enables me to, I don't know, maybe activate my... Chaos Emerald abilities even after they've run out. Kind of like a refill. Some kind of instant refill they could have. Okay, dodge the kitty cats. Yeah, that'd be something they could sell in the shop. That'd make me actually collecting medals actually be worth it. But no, just cosmetics. I don't care about cosmetics. I haven't even done the newsletter newsletter thing where you have to subscribe to the Sonic newsletter in order to get the Amy skin. I haven't even done that yet. But the deadline is in January, I think they said on their website. So I still have some time. 
I mean, if, if I remember. Like, I just don't care about cosmetics. Like, there's never going to be a point in time where I'm going to be like, man, I really wish I had the Amy Rose skin that puts her in her modern outfit. Like, I just don't care about that. They also have one for Dr. Eggman, too. Which is weird, because I guess you can play as Eggman during battle mode, if I had to make a guess. Like, Lego Eggman. It came within the... I bought this. I bought a physical copy of this game, so within the game case, they had. It comes with a code that allows you to enter into code and unlock a new Eggman Lego skin. Ooh, okay. I didn't even mean to kill that thing. It's funny how things just work out in my favor, huh? Okay. <laughs> I do not want to go in there. No way. Maybe I go down here. Oh yeah, this is where I want to go. Oh, when I go super fast, I turn into a fireball too. Too bad I can't spin dash like this, huh? Oh, great. I'm a squid again. So, I'm going to try my damnedest to get all 50 Chaos Emeralds. I mean, collect 50 rings by the time I get to the boss stage. Because I don't, don't want to have a repeat of last time where the boss wiped the floor with me. Oh. Had to kill that thing before he fired at me. It's shoot or be shot. That's the kind of dog-eat-dog -dog world we live in in the Sonic universe. Um... Ooh, ooh! I barely grazed that thing. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna turn into a dragon right now. I don't remember. I don't know how close I am to... The end. Okay, yeah. Right before this checkpoint, or this is gonna be the second to last checkpoint in the game. I didn't know you could die during that part. That definitely didn't happen during Sonic's playthrough, I'll tell you that much. But yeah, they make everything harder in trip story mode. So, I have to dodge. Oh, I don't know where the blocks are gonna be! I didn't even mean to go up that time, that was an accident. Why, did, why is it an automatic death? Why not just lose rings? That makes this game way too much harder. Way too hard for me to play. Play well, at least. Okay, so you can break through those blocks. It's just the big old blocks that you can't break through. Like that one. And they make it so close. Like, they make it so you just barely avoid those big blocks. Oh, jeez. Well, ultimately, I still got 100. 100. I'm not going to touch that checkpoint yet. I mean, not ever. Because just in case I die, I want to have enough leeway for me to collect more rings to turn into Super Dragon. I'm going down! Okay. Dragon time. Can I burn you? I mean, obviously not. There's no way you can damage the Eggman during that fight. And this is going to be so much easier because I can fly so I can finally avoid the pitch that he's going to send at me. <laughs> I don't even have to burn him with fire. All I have to do is touch him. Jump! Yeah, sometimes she gets stuck to the ground. I think she has like a ground form when she's on the ground and a flying form when she's flying. But it's kind of hard to distinguish whether she's like in her ground state or in her flying state because she's always floating. Okay, I'm running out of rings. They should give me... Like, after I beat this guy, there should be a point where I get the 10 ring coin box. So... I should, I should be able to... Oh, fuck, I should have... <laughs> I should have uh, let go of my dragon form before. Yeah, now I'm not gonna have enough rings to enter in the... next state of the dragon. Yeah, this is gonna be fake. They're gonna have all the little robots, okay. 
Damn it, I don't have enough rings for the next phase. And that's gonna be the hard phase too. Okay, so I believe I'm supposed to hit the robots back at him. I think that's one way of doing it. But I'm just gonna use my nothingness right now. My avatar state, which pretty much is nothingness at this point. Oh, this is gonna be a lot easier because I actually have a double jump, so it's actually not gonna be that bad. There we go, that's one hit. Yeah, knowing this, it's gonna probably take like twice as many hits to kill. Oh, I'll get meteor. <laughs> the hardest part about this is not getting hit, but it's... The hardest part about this is getting hit into the pit, not dying because of you getting hit with zero rings. Okay, I'll meet y'all back at the boss fight. Okay, here we go again. Okay, so I have to make sure to get this guy really quick. Like, waste no energy. No no time, no energy trying to kill this guy. Okay, so he's just gonna appear right here. Let's do this. Why did he... Why did the dragon back off? This phase is stupid. It's so stupid because I can't hit him when he's in his... All the way up here. Ugh. Come on. Here we go. So I have to hit him like a couple more times. Please just do your stuff faster. Yeah, I believe in the original or in my vanilla in the vanilla playthrough, he would have been done by now. Yeah, ha I think he has an extra hit you have to do. Okay. Come on. I have like ten more rings I have left. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Five, four, three. Oh there we go. Perfect. Nice. Okay, just do that. Whoa, I'm falling! Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! Hurry up, hurry up! Let me turn dragon, please! Hurry, hurry, hurry! There we go. Nice. Take that. And take this. Oh, I can't hit him anymore. <laughs> I knew that. I was just joshing ya. I'm just Drake and joshing ya. Bounce on his head. Okay, hit him once. Hit him again. Can I hit him again. Yeah! Can I hit you one more time? Just one more time. That's all I'm asking for. Just like that. Super simple. With 14 rings to spare. Give me something good. <laughs> oh, nice. That seemed kind of rigged. It kind of looked like I wasn't supposed to get anything, but it just kind of nudged it forward. Okay. Now it should be the Egg Fortress Zone. Man, we're already almost done with the uh, Trips playthrough. Wait, Frozen Bay? Oh, I think Frozen Base is. Oh, right! I forgot about Frozen Base. I totally forgot about Frozen Base. I think Frozen Base leads into Egg Fortress Zone. I believe... Oh, I'm frozen! Yeah, this game is ass. I hate Trip Story. I hate the level design of Trip Story. They're just so much stupid bullshit level design. I, I'm sorry. This is almost getting as bad as Sonic Advance 3 level design. And that's saying something. That game had awful level design. But this game is kind of approaching in that territory. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, what froze me anyways? Oh, that thing. Okay, tell me to freeze time. Okay. What, what is on top of me right now? 
something just gra oh that little claw grabbed me okay yeah that's nice whatever oh jeez okay <sighs> fucking turkey bells I never thought I'd be so glad to see a checkpoint, but at the rate I'm going right now, I, I need every single checkpoint I can get. Oh, they added a new gimmick where I can change the direction of the treadmills. <laughs> I wish I would add a gimmick of them giving me 20 more rings so that I can turn dragon and just be able to avoid any of this nonsense. I want to keep going that way. What is this thing circling around me? Some purple thing. <laughs> it's dead now, so it doesn't matter. That's what it gets. Uh, which way do I go? Oh wow, I can go past the treadmill. Oh jeez, I was not expecting that. Okay. Oh, I did the wrong ability. There we go. Huh? I did not want to go inside the portal. Nice! Okay, I guess having a few extra rings for my supersonic ability is can only be a good thing. Easy flying. Oh. I don't think I was supposed to come up here, was I? I don't think they intended for me to get up there. But hey, I'm a dragon. I can go where I want when I want. The perks of being the golden child. Oh yeah, don't get inside that special ring. Okay... So, some might consider this cheating. I don't give a shit. I've earned this right. Trip's playthrough has been going off for too long, man. This is like, what, the fourth episode I'm doing Trip? Okay, I'm not supposed to go there. Am I supposed to go down? It looks like I'm about to go into a pit if I go down. Kinda looks like there's something over here, too. No, that's not a platform or anything. Oh, look, okay. See, I was afraid of a bottomless pit. Spurn you. <laughs> I wonder if they ever intended for me to do this, do it like this. Like, they made like, getting the Chaos Emerald stupidly easy to get, so I would be surprised if they didn't intend for you to have a Super Dragon at this point in time. Oh, thanks a lot, Mr. Yeti. Oh, this is new. This is definitely new. Oh, look! Okay, so now they're actually giving us new and improved boss fights. Well, new at least. The improved part is yet to be seen. Remains to be seen. Okay. Was I to hit him? Yeah. I mean, obviously I gotta hit him. Actually, I wasn't, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to hit him or if the missiles were supposed to hit him. You never know what's supposed to hit him. Ooh, hold on, I gotta pause. Ugh. Okay, there we go. My knee was itchy. I had an itchy knee. I had to scratch myself. Ooh. What? I've barely been able to touch him. It probably would be easier to activate my Comet or my Avatar ability. Well, that sucks. Okay, so I'm gonna save my Comet for whenever he does that. I'm telling you, bottomless pits and getting squished is like the bread and butter of this game killing us. Like, if there were no bottomless pits and if there were no getting squished, I would never die in this game. The thing is, even getting, even falling into the pits is like normally not even my fault. It's not, it's not a result of my bad platforming. It's a result of me taking damage and the knockback of the damage, actually knocking me into the pit. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. Oh no! Don't get into, don't get into the background. I'm not gonna lie. It can be kind of hard to tell which avatar is an avatar and which one's me. 
How come there are no avatars appealing from the ceiling? I can't touch him. Like, I oh, fuck. I hit him two times before during the last time with relative ease, but now I can't even touch the guy. So obnoxious. Yeah, it's a new enemy. Definitely not improved, but it's new. Stupid, stupid boss design. Because they make it so you just... You can barely, just only barely touch him. There we go. Jeez. They could have made it a little bit easier for me to hit. Okay, okay. Just gotta barely, just barely. There we go. It's really a tight squeeze, don't you think? Okay, so now he's gonna go ape shit with all this. Yeah, just... Yeah, just activate the comet so it can avoid all that nasty no-nos. Yeah, nice. Hopefully my comet lasts long enough for me to avoid his next barrage of attacks. It, of course it not. Ooh. Jeez. Oh my god, how am I gonna do this part? How am I gonna do that? That's way too hard. Because not only do you have to avoid the bombs that are being thrown on the ground, but you also have to avoid the platform disappearing, too. <sighs> so stupid. <laughs> I'm so fucking done with this game, honestly. I'm just done with this. <laughs> I had a- I- my spirits were a lot higher at the beginning of this playthrough. I'm like, yeah, brand new Sonic game, nice. And my, that's how you felt for the entirety of the game, right up until, well, of course, the cyberspace boss fight. That's when I started to start raging out a bit. <laughs> but even be beyond that, other than that, the entire vanilla playthrough was just fine and dandy. But now, now that I'm going through Trip's story, I fucking hate Trip. I, I'm not gonna lie, I hate Trip. What? I don't even know how I died that time. I was on top of a platform. Yeah, I fucking hate Trip. I can't stand. Not her as a character, I mean her levels. I hate her story mode, I hate her design, I hate her- No, not her- Not her character design, I mean the level design. I hate the level design of Trip's story. I hate how stupidly bullshit hard it can be. For all the wrong reasons. I hate how they make you go through the entirety of the game twice! Once in vanilla, once as Trip- C Come on, this is excessive. Like, I don't think she's- that much drastically different of a character where she warrants her own separate playthrough. I mean, I guess it's good. We're getting our, we're getting our money's worth out of the game, having her own separate story. But, man, oh man. Maybe I should stop time. Okay, I'm gonna, for this part, I'm gonna use my Comet. But for the next time he does it, I think I'm just gonna stop time. I think that, I think that's the reason they make this so stupidly hard is because they really want you to utilize your Chaos Emerald abilities. If you don't you do your Chaos Emerald abilities... Okay, I don't know how long the time's gonna last for. <laughs> Not long enough, I'll tell you that much. Okay. There's no platform for me to jump on, for me to... <sighs> is he dead yet? No, he's still going, isn't he? Oh, now everything's a red. Oh wait, no, he has a different attack altogether. What's he gonna do now? I assume I shouldn't be within... Yeah. I'm just gonna use my avatar ability. Try to get him avatars, please. Hey, ugh, he's still going. He just doesn't stop. Hopefully he just does that same attack again. Yeah, and use your electricity attack. That's easy to dodge, so I don't mind you doing that. Okay. Now I should be able to hit him. If you get over to me. Oh, I have no platform to stand on. Oh, there we go. Thank God. Jesus Christ. Okay, they're giving me rings. They've never done that before, have they? Except in the boss fight for cyberspace. Are they gonna let me carry my rings over to the next stage? Or is it the rings for the sole purpose of elevating my final score?
frozen base act too. Yeah, they don't let me keep my rings. I should have figured. Now, this is something I just now thought about. If Eggman's so smart, why does he need animals to power his robots? Why can't he just find an alternative power source to power his robots? Because I'm sure it's more than possible to not use animals. Like, I don't even see the benefit of using animals. Like, what, does their life energy act as a inexhaustible fuel for the robots? Fucking shitting ice. I'm going down. Fuck that pathway. <laughs> I can't stand this game. I want this game to be over so bad. I'm so done with this. I just want to beat this game, try out the battle mode, and just call it a day. <laughs> I'm just done with Trip Story. I can't deal with this anymore. This is not fun anymore. I, I don't mean to sound so negative, but that's just the impression I'm getting from this. Hey, this is a blind playthrough. Nobody ever said it had to be a blind, happy, positive playthrough. But man, jeez. I'm just so fucking bored of all this level design crap. Bad level design crap. Going through the original vanilla game was fun. That was fun. I liked the level design of that. But for all this stupid trip shit, all this added egg robos and this fucking constant barrage of spikes and spike enemies, it's just annoying. It's just obnoxious. Okay. Jeez, activate my time. I think what a, something else that's probably contributing to the bad mood I'm in is that I actually, I've been doing all of Trip Story in one sitting in the same recording session, so maybe it probably would have been best for me to just take a break. You know what? I actually did take a break. I took like a 10, 20 minute break in between the recording each episode part. It's still the same day and all, but um, yeah, just took short little breaks. Because I just really want to knock all of this out of the way as soon as possible. Because I, I'm ready to move on to other Let's Plays. I'm ready to uh, bring on my next episode of Smashing and Flashing. And if you know what game just came out, you probably already have an idea. You probably already know what game I'm going to be playing for the next episode of Smashing and Flashing. <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. So I want to hurry up and beat this game so I can move on to the next game. No, I, had, I was really one ring away from turning into a dragon. Ugh, golly, just get up there. Go Comet. Yeah, that figures. Of course I would boost into a pair of spikes. It's a fucking... They're going crazy with the spikes. Wasn't it? What was it? Some kind of spike bargain sale? Oh, okay, I'm going... I have to activate my invisibility. Why am I a vine? Why? I didn't mean to activate my vine. That was the wrong ability. Oh, of course. I can't deactivate it because I can't press L and R. Or... <sighs> pressing L and, R, L and R does nothing. Oh. Oh, this is new. Oh, this was the trail of rank that was in the other level, wasn't it? That's how you did it. And I was talking about, like, saying, oh, are there light dash shoes in this game? Give me this checkpoint. For the love of God, give me the checkpoint. <laughs> Jeez, I'm gonna go back to normal. I'm gonna get squished if I stay dragon form. Because apparently this is the that's the only fucking way of being able to pose a challenge in this game is getting squished like that shit right there. That's the only way this game can actually pose an actual challenge to me. That or falling into a pit in a bullshit way. Not even falling into the pit, it's more like me taking knockback into a pit. God, so fucking stupid. I'm tell getting not squished is not a good level design. I'm just gonna sit, throw that out there. <sighs> so, of course, you, I guess the rings are an indicator of the safe space you're supposed to be in. Uh, as to not get squished. Okay. I'm trying to do a spin dash, not... She just, she just keeps barely moving and not allowing me to... <sighs> Maybe that's my fault for trying to speed it, speed through it, try to go through fast. Go too fast, not through fast. I'm not going through fast anything. I'm going too fast into hell. 
Okay, great. Now I have to do this again. The slow part where I have to wait and take my time. Fuck Frozen Base! Oof. Well, this game is better than Sonic 4 Episode 1, I can tell you that. Better than Episode 4, too. I mean, Episode 2, too. But that's a very low bar, isn't it? Okay. I guess I gotta take it real slow. Jeez. Give me this checkpoint. Get me out of here. You know what they should have done? They should have just made it so the special stage ring you go in automatically gives you 50 rings like it did in Sonic 3 episode. I mean, just Sonic 3. I'm gonna say, like, Sonic 3 episode 1. I guess Sonic 3 would be the episode 1 and Sonic and Knuckles would be episode 2? I guess that's, that's one way of looking at it. And then both of them together is just one giant episode. Don't even try to shoot me. Shooting me does nothing when I'm a golden dragon. Yeah, I'm going back to normal for this part. I don't need no wonky, janky dragon hitboxes being the death of me. Oh, I have a shield. I don't remember getting the shield. Okay, that looks really cool, I'm not gonna lie. No, I didn't even need to do the dragon anymore. Okay, Frozen Base Act 3, coming right up. Trip got through Act 2. Oh, alright, I remember doing this. Okay, sorry, I had to get myself situated right there. If you, heard, if you heard a lot of background noise, that's probably what it was. Then again, I'll probably just cut out the background, no background noise in editing, so I'll need to say that is, means absolutely nothing. Okay, kill all the pink capsules. I wish there was a stronger, stronger way for me to, stronger missiles to use other than the standard lasers. How did Trip even get in here? Did, uh, Tails build one for Trip 2? This game makes no sense in the context of the story. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Well, they definitely take a lot more- it seems they take a lot more hits to kill. Plus, they're spread out a lot further than they were in the... in Sonic's playthrough. Nice. Oh, I got too close. Yeah, so her ship is constantly moving, so getting too close is probably not the best idea. Okay, I killed everything, now what? Oh, right. It just ends, okay. Ah, oh, this again. Okay, so this game finally confirmed that the Sonic Universe takes place on, pl takes place on Earth instead of Mobius. I mean, I think that's already been established, but in Sonic Unleashed, this this just further confirms it. All right, I can just hold the button, can I? Can't I? I was just mashing the button to shoot, but I can just hold the button. Okay. All right, I have to shoot his open mouth. That's what it was. For some reason, I kept thinking you have to shoot his eye. But his eye's not even, like, on the same plane as... Plane of existence that I can shoot on. Well, it's definitely a lot harder to shoot his mouth with all this green stuff coming out of it. Okay, I got a decent amount of hits in that time. Okay. 
Okay. How many hits does he take? There we go. Oh, rings. Give me that. Wait, is there more? Oh, this is new, isn't it? I don't remember this. I don't... Oh, wait, yes. Never mind. It's not new. I do remember this. Right, I have to shoot the green balls in between the silver... The silver pots. So if I just stay here, I should be good. I don't know if there's an ideal place to stand. I don't... I wouldn't imagine there's an ideal place to stand in order to get more hits in. I think you just have to uh, just keep constantly shooting and just hope that one of your attacks manage to land on him. Yeah, great level design. Great boss design. Just shoot and pray. If there's a way to get rid of those silver pots, then that would contribute greatly to the validity of this boss fight. Instead of it just being a glorified waiting game. Okay, what's next? Trip got through Act 3. So the Egg Fortress should be it. And then after we beat the Egg Fortress, that's the end of the game. End of Trip story, at least. Okay, I guess I'm going in. It's a good thing everything inside just doesn't start getting sucked off into the vacuum of space. Sucked out into the vacuum of space. I should not have said sucked off. <laughs> sucked out, not sucked off. <laughs> Please hurry up. Egg Fortress Zone. Okay, let's do this. Let's do it to it. What kind of bull fuckery is it gonna give me this time? Oh. Alright, oh, I gotta do this. I gotta hit these guys. This is the kind of bull fuckery it's giving me this time. Ugh. Come on, get over here. I saw something fly up. Oh, I think it was just a barrier. Okay. I thought it was gonna, like, drop down and squish me. Yeah, that wouldn't be a first time for this game now, would it? Ooh, the platforming. Seems to be a bit more tight. Oh, of course they brought, brought this back, huh? Ooh, watch out for the flames. Ooh, damn it. Whatever. Come on, go faster. Come on, Trip, just go faster. Yeah, I'm speedrunning this now. I don't care about sm stopping and smelling the roses. I don't care about the journey. I only care about the destination at this point. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I do care about the journey. There's something up here. Oh, what? Oh, just an alternate pathway, I reckon. Oh, right, the anti-gravity. Oh, can I... Oh, yeah, no way I was going to squeeze in between that little tiny section right there. Just wishful thinking on my part. No, even the rings are in anti-gravity. Whatever, I don't need rings. Do you know who I am? I'm Trip, the sun gazer. The only thing I'm gazing at is victory. Give me that. I'll take this while I'm at it. Guess I can't do anything with this now, can I? Can I? Nope, I cannot. Whoa, what the hell was that? I was frozen for some reason. I couldn't move. Or, it looks like there was some kind of magnet that was pulling me up. I kind of, it's hard to describe. That was a weird feeling. Aw. Ooh, right, you don't want to get squished by that. That'd be problematic. I can see why they don't give you lives. Man, imagine this game having lives. On my way back, during the cyberspace boss fight, during the rocket sequence, 
I died like three times trying to get back. <laughs> I kept crashing into the wall because the speed booster kept uh, crashing me into the wall. Ooh, gotta watch out for that. Huh? Hit it! Come on, hit it! I gotta do with it. Can I only hit it in the right order? Can I not hit this one? Yeah, it's not letting me hit that one. I have to hit it in sequential order from bottom to top. Wait, no, it, it didn't let me hit that one either. I just not let me hit it. Do I have to jump on top of it to hit it? I don't. That's. I don't, don't know what's going on with that. This game plays by its own rules. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> I really thought I was gonna fall into a pit. Oh man. Golly. I'm so glad Trip Story's almost done. Uh -huh. I don't mean to sound so negative. I know I, I keep saying I don't mean to sound negative and then I just continue on to be negative. I know I'm doing that a lot, but I swear it's if I had a choice to be positive or negative about talking about a game, I would choose to be positive about the game. But this game is making it very hard for me to do that. Because this is such a good game. If the game ended right without doing Trip Story or anything, this it would have ended on a high note. But since I'm going through Trip Story and this level design for Trip Story is so ass, it's really making the whole game seem worse just by association, even though the rest of the game had nothing to do with it. It's a whole- it's a case of a uh, bad apple ruining the bunch. Ugh. Like that right thing. Ooh, wow, that was fortunate. That ring really wanted to be with me again, huh? You can't get separated from your daddy, you know, can you? Or your mommy in this case. Yes, Trip is- I assume Trip's a girl? I really want to say Trip's a girl. She definitely looks like a girl. She kind of looks like a modern Amy reskin. Her her, her uh, hairstyle looks like modern Amy. But that's probably where the similarities end. Isn't it nice how every single character in the Sonic universe has the ability to turn into a ball? Even though turning into a ball was specifically done with Sonic in mind because hedgehogs in real life can turn into balls. So it's kind of weird how a fox can turn into a ball or um, Vector the crocodile can turn into a circle. Not really a ball, but a circle in uh, Knuckles Chaotix. Yeah, he turns, it, he turns into a what Trip turns into when she turns into a ball form. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. If, I, I don't think there's ever been a game where Rouge the Bat or uh, Big the Cat ever turned into balls. I don't think they turn. They might have turned into balls in Sonic Heroes. If I'm not mistaken, they probably did have some kind of ball animation form. Or maybe it's just them like spinning, but not really a ball. I, I don't know. I don't remember. Right, yeah, yeah. All we need now is Dr. Eggman turning into a ball form. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be funny. I mean, he's already an egg. He has that shape of a ball down. He's definitely in the shape to be rolling. Ooh, wow, that was close. Good thing I have my double jump. Ooh, nice. I'll just go ahead and turn into a dragon right here and now. Thank you very much. I'm not- oh, what was this? Eggman kicking Sonic? Okay. We all have our little fantasies in our head. I thought Eggman would be a better artist than that, though. Unless one of his robot lackeys drew it. Okay, can I touch the- can I destroy the top things? I'm gonna find out for sure this time. Nope, I cannot. I guess I just- yeah, it really does have to be bottom and top. Well, I can tell you this, this is a lot easier now that I'm a dragon. That's it! The level's over! For Act 1, at least. 
Okay, I might be getting a bit ahead of myself, but... Um, during the final boss... If I don't beat the final boss on my first attempt, I'm just gonna jump cut ahead to when I beat it. Oh, it's good to see the game didn't crash this time. But yeah, if I don't beat the final boss on my first time, I'm just gonna jump cut ahead to my victory. Because we all saw the final boss in my initial playthrough. I don't need to show every single attempt. Oh wait, no, maybe the game will crash. It crashed last time. Let's find out if it's gonna crash again this time. Definitely not doing anything. It might be a crash again. Yeah, it looks like a crash. Like, look at this lag. Oh, no. Oh, wow, it didn't crash. Yeah, I think the Switch just had a really rough time trying to reload all the assets of the previous zone it was just in for some reason. I wonder if this happens in any of the other versions. Like, I wouldn't imagine this happening in the PS5 version. But, yeah, I think of of all the systems that this this game was released on, I think the Switch is a, has the lowest technical ability out of all this. Like, I'm pretty sure the PS5 is stronger, the PS4 is stronger, the Xbox, Xbox One and Xbox, uh, oh, right, I don't, I don't have my Comet. I forgot. I forget every time you get hit, the Comet gets knocked out of you. Yeah, uh, PC, Xbox, PS4, PS5. They're all stronger than the Switch, so I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't imagine there being as many game crashes on, on those systems as opposed to the Switch. But hey, I'm a Nintendo fanboy, so I'm always gonna be playing the games on my Switch. If I, whenever I do have the option of playing, get buying a game for that's on multiple systems, more times than not, I'm always gonna buy the Switch version. There's only a select few games where I'm ever, ever going to buy the PS4 version or the PlayStation version over the, um, the Switch version. One of those games being uh, Grand Theft Auto, the Definitive Edition. Because all my life I grew up playing Grand Theft Auto on uh, PlayStation 2. I played uh, GTA 4 on PS3 and GTA 5 on PS4. So whenever the Definitive Edition came out, even though it was on the Switch, I still preferred to buy it on my PS4. Just for the sake of me, uh, the, for consistency's sake of me playing on a PlayStation console. Yeah, I actually, do, I also, I, all, I also do own a Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy. Not the Definitive Edition trilogy, I mean like the original. PS2, GTA 3, uh, Vice City, San Andreas. I actually do have those games on my PC. I have the PC versions of those games. Fortunately, I got the PC versions of those games before Rockstar decided to uh, take them off of the shop. So I was lucky in that regard. Yeah, I'm about to run out of rings, aren't I? Um, that's probably not a good sign. Keep going this way. Jump! Oh man. Oh right, this part again. Okay, I'm just gonna go back to normal. No sense in me losing every single ring. <laughs> I say that as I lose every single ring I have. Oh, I still have a couple of rings left. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Golly almighty. No, no almighty. Nothing's mighty about this game. He's not even in this game. He's in Sonic Mania. Uh, and Knuckles Chaotix. I'm still so upset they didn't bring back Mighty's wall climbing abilities in Knuckles, I mean, in uh, Sonic Mania. He had them in Knuckles Chaotix. He could climb walls in that game. Not even like climb walls. He can like latch onto walls and then jump from the walls. He essentially does wall kicks from Super Mario Bros. Or the new Super Mario Bros. games. But they decided to take that out in, this, in uh, Sonic Mania. 
Which is why Knuckles Chaotix is the superior Sonic game over Sonic Mania. <laughs> Said no one ever. I do like uh, Knuckles Chaotix, though. It's stupidly easy, kind of on the boring side. Oh, but it's just a very fun... Well, it's a very mellow game to play. Very mellow. Like, you're not going to get too stressed out playing it. If you just want an easy-going Sonic experience, then just play uh, Knuckles Chaotix. It really doesn't push the envelope in any regard. Except for the... Maybe it pushes it in the regard of having the two-person, two-character person system. Well, one person is attached to a ring and whatnot. But they never actually brought that back for good reason, because... <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why would you ever want to play a game like that? But that's something I do like about Sega, and Sonic Team in general. They're always trying out these weird new ideas, while Mario just kind of sticks to the status quo. Because they already know what works with Mario, so they're always going to stick with... Like, they're never going to do anything too drastic with him. In terms of uh, 2D Sonic games, or Mario games, I guess. They're always pretty simple. Like, how many new Super Mario Bros. games do we have? Like, new Super Mario Bros., new Super Mario Bros. Uh, 2, new Super Mario Bros. Wii, new Super Mario Bros. U, new Super Luigi U, and now we have Mario Wonder. Essentially all the same game. At the very core, they're all the same game. They don't really do anything too drastic with them. But then again, Mario has so many like different spin-offs, like Mario Party, Mario Kart, and everything. I guess it would make sense for his core, the core Mario games to be very, uh, solid. Like, you know what you're gonna get when you play that. But of course, Sonic is always doing something innovative, like, like, Werehogs, or... Um, Sonic and the Secret Rings with the stuff. I don't know. I don't care anymore. This subject's getting boring to me. Um, as you can see, I'm actually kind of exhausted right now. Maybe I should have played this game on a different day. <laughs> Instead of doing every single thing on one single sitting. Because this is actually kind of starting to take a toll on my commentary. I mean, not like I had five-star commentary in the past, but I think it's kind, of, it's kind of getting easy to tell. I'm getting a bit... Not irritated. I don't want to say irritated. I'm getting a bit over it. Like, very apathetic about everything that's happening. Like, I'm... Honestly, I'm just... Wait, I'm ready for this story mode to be done. I really don't know how streamers can stream for, like, ten hours a day every day. I've only been recording for, like, what... A few hours now, and I'm already just mentally drained. This is draining, just having to talk, 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 talk. And not only do, do streamers have to talk, but they also got to be entertaining. But they got to do it for a long, long time. And then again, that, even them being entertaining is still subjective. Like, there are a lot of styles that... Commentary styles or streaming styles that aren't necessarily like high energy or high octane but some are, some of them are like really chill too so i think be if you can captivate an audience by being like super chill and not high energy i think you've honestly hit a jackpot in terms of streaming because that is just not having to exert too much energy just being able to relax yeah that's how you can keep your momentum going for hours at a time Instead of having to be all high energy and entertaining and everything. I'm not saying that if you're chill, you're not entertaining, but... Uh, um, being chill... Uh, it's... It's awesome. Oh, come on. Yeah, I complained about it during the first episode 2. Or the first instance of this stage 2. But they should have put the checkpoint after... They should put a checkpoint after that segment of you going down that elevator. There we go. Okay, here we go, the boss time. Yeah, like I said, uh, 
If I don't beat the boss during my first time, I'm just gonna jump kinda ahead to when I actually do beat it. Because we've all seen me fight the boss before, so you're not really missing much. Oh, what the hell is that noise? Oh, I got an update on my computer. Oh wait, this is new. Hold on now. This seems kind of new. I don't remember this. Oh. What is going on right now? This is something new. Maybe I shouldn't jump cut ahead to the boss. I thought it was going to be the same boss as last time, but they really did switch it up. Okay. Oh, I was trying to use my avatar ability, not my uh, vine ability. Oh wait, I keep calling it vine. It's actually ivy. But it ain't poison. I'm going to go this way. See, I tried to switch directions and I got hit for it. Okay, game. I understand the metaphor. I'll keep going in the same... Oh, no. I won't go in the same direction. Oh, this guy can activate an avatar state too. Huh. Okay, so that's... This is the real one. And I'm dead. Of fucking course it would take away the platform. That's the only way you can die in this game. Falling into pits and getting squished. The only two ways of dying. That's so annoying. Okay, at least I can skip the cutscene now. So how am I actually supposed to hit that guy? If I'm actually supposed to hit him. Maybe he has a he has an opening after he does an avatar state that I'm able to hit him in. So yeah, we just gotta dodge the missiles. After we dodge the missiles, then he's gonna do the thing where he shoots out the three reticles. Yeah, those things. And then after that, I should be able to hit him like that. Okay, so then after that, he's gonna shoot out his missiles again. Yeah, he's gonna shoot out his missiles again. And then he's gonna do his avatar state. And then after the avatar state, I don't know what to expect. No wait, he's gonna shoot the lasers first. Yeah, he's gonna shoot, trap us inside. I'm gonna use my avatar state too. Maybe? Yeah, there we go. I hit him with my avatar. So, what's he gonna do now? He's gonna do the same exact technique? Oh, wow, that missile shot right at me. I don't know how I could've dodged that. I guess I could've jumped out of the way. <laughs> Jumping? Who needs it? Okay... Oh, okay! I don't know if the laser's an automatic kill, or if uh, I just happen to get squished in between his body and the laser body. But, I really hope it's not the, uh, the laser that's a one-hit kill. I really hope not. Golly. Okay, just dodge this. We all know how it works now. Ooh. There you go. I think next time when he does that phase, I'm gonna turn into a comet. Yeah, so he's gonna do this. gonna stop now I don't need to keep running because he's just gonna do this again get my avatar state ready or maybe I'm actually gonna use my time stop ability I think that'd be more helpful oh wait what oh he actually shot up he actually uh did his real body during the first phase instead of the second part of that attack okay so it's definitely randomized whenever he does his lasers. Okay. Yeah, the lasers are an automatic kill. Okay. Fuck me. Okay. Hit number one. Okay, I'm gonna get my uh, clock ready. Okay. After that, he should be doing his avatar state. And then after that, I don't know what... Okay, so the first two, he's gonna do the, that. And then this part, he's gonna do this. Okay, so I should be able to hit him. How did I... S 
still take damage. Fuck this sh fucking shit. Okay, hit number one again. Hell do your avatar state after you shoot out the missile. Man, I thought the last final boss was hard, but this is a doozy. Assuming this actually is the final boss. Okay, I'm gonna try to clock the strategy one more time. How do I still get hit? They're silhouettes, they're not even real. How do I still get hit by those? What? Oh, there's always something with this shit. Always something. Okay, 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 okay. Just dodge that. I'm actually gonna... No, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna use my avatar yet. Okay, I'm actually gonna try to avoid the lasers for now. Yeah, just avoid that. And then after he shoots out all the lasers, I'm gonna go in for the kill. Like that. Okay, I think that's probably the best strategy I can employ. Okay, now he's gonna do the missiles again. Incoming enemy missile, shoot him down, you're being marked. Yeah, Star Fox 64 quote. Okay, um, I'm just curious about what other thing he's gonna do next. Is he going to do the Avatar State again? Okay, he is doing the Avatar State again. Okay, so I'm going to use my Avatar State? Okay. All my Avatars are getting killed by the laser. That did not happen last time, did it? Did that happen last time? I mean, I assume some of them died by the laser the first time, but... I still managed to get a good hit in. I don't know why it didn't work this time. Okay, I'm just gonna try it. Okay, if I don't hit him during that initial attempt, I'm just gonna wait until he shoots out his things before I go back in. Okay, yeah, like this. Okay, this isn't that bad. I've been dying way too much. Okay, what's he gonna do now? Okay, he's getting like behind me. Oh no, he's just shooting more missiles. Uh, that was weird. He went like all the way to the left right there. I thought he was prepping up for some kind of new attack. Oh shit, this is gonna be rough. I'm, I might turn into a clock for this part. Ugh, can I barely squeeze it? Nope. Please just let me in. Oh, come on. There we go. Thank you. Thank you for letting me in. It's like driving and trying to get inside a very narrow, uh, Trying to get inside a lane during traffic, trying to just barely squeeze yourself in between the other car. If the other cars aren't assholes and just speeding up whenever you signal to turn in. <laughs> not that I'd have, not that I'd know anything about that, no, would I? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I would never do that. That's definitely happened to me many times. People just speeding up whenever. I'm actually gonna try my fireball for this part. Maybe I can get a good hit in. No, I can't. I don't even know why I tried. I didn't even try. I didn't even activate it. There was no way I was going to be able to get close enough to do that. Okay, so for the next part, whenever he does his thing, I'm going to take on my Comet. Or use my Comet ability to try to try to get in him. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, I think it would actually be best just to just wait for all of these all of these things to go by. Because these are one hit kills, you do not want to take these things lightly. So yeah, just wait for all of these to go by. And do that. Okay, so, so far so good, this is pretty simple. There isn't really anything else that... Unless he brings out some new attack I haven't seen yet. Which I'm definitely sure he's gonna do. But if he doesn't do that, then I should be in the clear. Whew, that was close. <laughs> Okay, I don't really have anything else I can use. Oh fuck. Oh, there we go. Is he dead? Is that it? I didn't I didn't even mean to kill him that time. I just <laughs> I just accidentally took damage and <laughs> my iframes killed him. Hey, whatever works. Nice. Yeah, I keep running in place, trip. Oh, okay, this guy has a fang bot. Am I gonna get more rings? They're not gonna make me do this without any rings, are they? Oh, fuck my life. I don't have any rings. Ooh, this is gonna be a doozy. Go, go away, please. Oh, at least my abilities came back. 
they're really making me do do this without any rings. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What? Do I do? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. What's up for that? How am I supposed to damage him? Do I have to hit something back at him? What is the intended strategy for this? Okay, shooting missiles. I assume I have to hit some missiles back at him. Yeah, I think it's gonna be like the. Yeah, just like that. Okay, that's what I gotta do. Just like the original final boss, I just have to use his own weapons against him. Stop doing that! Get out! Is there any way to dodge that? Okay, so he should be shooting his little missiles out again. Oh no, he's doing the moto bugs. Ooh! Ooh, crap! Ooh! Okay, then. Shoot out your missiles, man. Oh, this again? Why is he doing this twice? Okay, if I just keep jumping over them, I should be fine. Oh, wow, they just stayed. They just stayed. Shoot out your missiles again, dude. Come on, dude. Okay, he's doing it again. That's good. So I have to wait for the missiles. Fucking Christ. God damn. Okay, I'm just gonna jump cut ahead over to uh, the final, final Fang boss. <laughs> I tried using my avatar ability and one of my avatars just got stuck. Okay, so using your fireball is a pretty good method to take care of him. Okay, final boss. Super final boss again. Just skipping. Skip the cutscene. Okay, this time I have all my rings. I didn't get hit a single time. Watch out for the moto bugs. Oh, we can hit the bugs back at him. I don't know. What? Okay, that's new. Does he really need to do those attacks three times? Okay, so far so good. Okay, this is where I died before. I have to make sure not to get hit by the... by the red ones and just only hit the blue ones. Man. Once again, it's very RNG dependent. Of where the blue ones are going to be and where the red ones are going to be. Shit. Get out, get out. That's an automatic death too? Oh my fucking god. Why is everything an automatic death in this game? And it takes you like 20 minutes just to get to that final phase and it only takes you two seconds to lose it all. That's the worst part about this. God fucking damn it. Okay, here we go again. Hey, I got one hit down. Only like, what, nine to go? Or however long it fucking takes to beat this guy. Jesus Christ. Having one hit kills is so stupid. That should not be a thing. Especially since it takes so long just to even get back to this point in the boss fight. Okay, this should be able to hit him, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, now he's gonna do the spider web thing again. Okay, dodge a little... I don't even know what to call those plunger darts things. Okay. Let's do that. There we go. Okay, he just made me balance, so I assume he has a new pattern. Oh, he's doing the moto bugs again. Okay. Yeah, keep pulling those out. I don't mind. Do that all day for all I care. Anything that'll help me kill you faster. Okay, hit him four times. Oh, look, now he's doing a double fisted. Shit! 
so obnoxious how they, those ninjas stay. Okay, doing this again. Okay, can I hit? Oh, I gotta only hit him with one. Okay, that's five hits right there. No, oh, shit, 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 get off, get off, get off! Oh my god. Oh wow, something, it looks like it started glitching out right there. Okay, the moto bugs. I opened those with welcome open arms. Oh man, I missed it. Hey, throw some more out, please. I missed my chance. It's because of the goddamn slopes. Ugh. Okay, that's one. That's two. That's three. Okay, gotta watch out for the. Oh my, I don't want to play anymore. I'm fucking done with this shit. I really don't want to play anymore. Having one death kills, and it takes so long to get to the final phase. Look, it's four and a half minutes right now. By the time I get there, the timer's going to be past under zero. And that's even with me hitting him during every single phase too. So no matter what, it's going to take me at minimum five minutes just to get back to the point where I already was. And it's just so frustrating. It's so obnoxious because it's so easy to die too. Oh my god. How did they ever think this was fun? How did this get past the fucking development point? Why isn't there a checkpoint for the second phase of the fight? It's, you don't need to be doing the same phase of the first fight that takes this long every single time. It's so unnecessary. It's not even fun. It's not even a challenge. It's just a waste of time. God damn. Okay, oh, okay, okay. I got here slightly faster than five minutes. But still, it still feels like a long time. Hopefully. Hopefully I don't fuck this up again. Because this, the worst part about this is how it, the web, the electro webs, they actually stay. They just linger. So I think maybe an idea is not to run so fast. Yeah, if I slow it down a bit and just barely avoid the propeller toilet plunger darts. Oh, right, I can't actually hit the missiles. I have to hit what's inside the missiles. Oh, God. Wait, did I not hit him? I swear I hit the blue thing right back at him. It didn't look like it hit him, though. Kind of hard to tell. I wasn't paying attention. I just kind of assumed I hit it. Whatever. Okay, so don't go too fast. Just in order to avoid the electro webs. Damn, it's always so hard because it's hard to pinpoint where they're gonna pop out from the ground from. And with a because of these dumbass slopes, it's always hard to build up enough speed for me to actually get to them on time when I do find out where they're popping out from. Too much RNG in this. It's way too RNG heavy. Shit. Even fucking think about it. Fuckhead. Uh, way too RNG heavy in this game. With the enemies and with your ammunition of what you actually can and can't hit hit them with. Like, oh, bad luck that the red ones happened to appear in the direction I needed to hit them from. Instead of it being... This is such a stupid boss fight. Like, there shouldn't be so much variance in predictability. There shouldn't be so much variance in what you might and might not be able to hit them with. Like, there's nothing I could have done in that situation. Like this, I just have to be lucky at where the bugs pop out from. Like, fortunately, I was lucky enough for them to spawn out in a place, in a perfect place where I actually needed them to be. But that's always not going to be a, the case. And that just artificially inflates the length of this boss fight to such obnoxious degrees. So I think so far I only hit him like twice. Okay, yeah. You better hope that uh, the fucking blue pellets actually lands in the direction you want to hit him. Damn it! Fuck. 
It's so stupid how there's no way to actually hit him. Unless the bugs are in the air when you hit them. You know what I mean. Okay. Jeez, I almost ju double jumped right into that one. All oh, right, he's double fisting this time. Okay, so he only shoots us four. As long as, hey, if I get hit after he shoots out the fourth one, then I should be fine. I really hate this part. Okay, good. Fortunately, the blue one bounced in the direction I needed it to. If they didn't make these, like, this slope, the slope is, like, probably... Fuck. I, I'm done. Sorry, guys. I'm done. I am not playing this game anymore. I quit. I fucking quit. Um, at least I'm done with this recording session. No, I'm not done yet. Fuck. Okay, the next attempt is going to be my winning attempt. I'm not going to do any commentary. I'm tired of fucking talking during the the bosses where I don't win, so the only the next time you hear my commentary is after I beat the boss. I'm sorry, I just don't care anymore. This is such a stupid boss fight. Stupid final boss. God damn it. I already got hit. Okay, I think I hit him about six times right now. I'm doing so far so good. This might be the winning attempt. I don't want to speak too soon. I don't want to get too too ahead of myself, but Things are looking pretty, pretty good. And I'm not gonna lie, between now and the last cut I made, I actually did look up how to beat this final boss. <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't take it anymore. I just had to. It was taking way too long. I know there's gonna be a <sighs> Oh, a new attack, new attack! Whoa, 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 whoa! Can I hit him? What the fuck was that? Okay, so I think I've hit him, hit him enough times for him to start doing brand new attacks. So I think I'm making a bit more progress. Oh my god, what do I do? I'm going Comet. I have to Comet this. No, no, no. Look at this shit right there! There was nothing I could do! I tried to Comet out of it, but it was, I was way too congested. I couldn't do anything. How am I supposed to get out of that? Fuck, this shitty ass game. This is such a bad boss, I'm sorry, this is... I fucking hate this game so much. This was a good game un until I started playing Trip Story. Trip Story fucking sucks. The level design in Trip Story fucking sucks. The boss design suck. Everything sucks about this story mode. Trip Story mode. If I, if I ever were to replay this game, Trip's playthrough would not be a thing at all. I'm never touching this fucking Trip Story mode ever again. No. And the worst thing about this is that it's gonna permanently put Trip. It's gonna make me think Trip is a bad character because of this. Just because her story mode is so bad that is her image is always gonna be forever tainted. It's the shittiness of the story mode. Yeah, I don't know what that was. I just didn't hit anything right there. <sighs> Stupid glitchy ass game. What? It did it again! What's going on? How come it's not letting me hit it now? And this time only one bug ran by too. See, now the game is glitching. I can't even beat the game because I literally can't even hit the bugs back at him now. What is happening? What is wrong with this boss fight? Everything about this boss fight is just trash. Like, it can't even function right. Now I'm losing to reasons beyond my control. Oh my god. <sighs> Sonic Team, why? <laughs> I don't understand how... How south did this game go from the original story mode to whatever the fuck trip story mode is? It's night and day. It's like this, it's like trip story mode was developed by a completely different studio who had no idea what they were doing. 
Okay, I've hit him six times now. This might be the winning attempt, who's to say? If no more fuckery happens. Which is, might be a bit too much to ask for. This is like, he's doing four of these fucking attacks right now. I'm just gonna turn around. Yeah, that's probably my best bet at that point, just turn around. Okay, this attack again. Ooh, see, I, I pushed out. I thought I was gonna like fall into the pit. I got too scared. I was doing this phase again. Do this, do this, do that, do that. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter. After the fourth hit, it doesn't really matter if I get hit in a cobweb. Okay, this again. Oh. Nice. I thought I wasn't going to hit him that time. Oh, here we go again. Oh, he only shot, shot out one web that time. I'm not complaining. Definitely not complaining. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna avatar this. Oh my god, yes! Finally! Shit! God damn, it's over! Hoo baby! Oh man, I... I'm like half dead inside, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that was a doozy of a boss fight. That was not fun. Oh, now you know how it feels to get a screen KO. Yeah, run away, Trip. Run away from this game. Jesus Christ. I don't know if you're ever going to appear in another Sonic game again. Uh, if you do come back, please don't bring back your story mode with you. Oh, they didn't show the cutscene where Trip was inside the pod with all the other people. Yeah, this is definitely a girl. I kept saying, oh, I wonder if Chip's a boy or a girl. Yeah, this is definitely a girl. Oh, look at that blush. No, oh, I'm shy. Your story mode sucked dick. Get out of here. I'm not watching no credits again. Fuck this. Wait, are they really gonna make me watch it again? Oh my god, they're not getting, there's no way to skip the cutscene. It says return to main menu, I'm not doing that. Just on the off chance, just on the off chance it's not going to save my data or anything. I'm not going through that entire boss fight ever again. I'm never playing that, I'm never playing uh, trip story mode ever again for as long as I live. I mean, I will come back to this game. I'm not never gonna do trip story mode. I'll just stick to the main story mode. That's it. I'm never gonna. <laughs> this was such a horrible experience. I do not like trip story mode. They did not need to make it that hard. Too many fucking spikes. Too many pits. Too many places to get squished. Such terrible level design. It's oh my god, it's horrible. I can't imagine any. Why did it just warp me forward? Like that? that happened in Sonic's thing too. It just warped me forward. Yeah, I'm never playing uh, Trip Story Mode ever again. I don't know how many times I can overstate that fact. Oh, jeez. Why am I still talking? I'm just gonna cut ahead. When the credits are over, I have nothing else to say about this god-awful Story Mode. Okay, I'll see y'all then. Okay, looks like the credits are coming to a close. Much like this episode will be soon enough. Oh wait, there are more executive producers we have to look at before the credits truly end. Okay, there we go. Now it's giving me the copyright. I remember this from last time. It's so weird to me how there's no designated skip credits button that we can use. Because I think returning to main menu is kind of the game's way of telling us that we can skip the credits. But I'm a little bit too afraid to test out that theory based on the boss fight we just had. I do not want to have to take the chance of me having to redo that boss fight just in case returning to the main menu actually doesn't save my progress. I only got two- oh right, two medals. I didn't collect that many rings, did I? I don't care. Don't care, don't care, don't care. 
Look, a new feature has been unlocked. Okay, so this is what I was alluding to earlier, the last story. This is what I kind of spoiled myself on when I was looking up some stuff earlier uh, in uh, the first episode of Trip Story. Or second episode, was it? I don't remember. Yeah. But all I know is, I don't know anything about the last story. I didn't look up, like, what it's going to be or anything. The only thing I know is that it exists. I just know that we unlocked the last story by beating Trip Story. So that's all I know. That's the only... It's still... It's a, this game is still a blind playthrough. Okay, it looks like I go supersonic. It looks like I take down some kind of dragon enemy. Maybe it's going to be the dragon that was the scrapped enemy from Sonic Adventure. The egg dragon enemy from the Sky Chase Zone. That would, that would be kind of cool if they brought it back. I mean, Lord knows that Sonic Adventure 1 actually did bring, bring back some music tracks from Sonic 3D Blast. Such as the Windy Valley and the Twinkle Park kart racing music. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's something... That's a whole different topic altogether. Um, last story. I'm gonna do the last story in the next episode, not this episode. Right now, I'm actually gonna call it quit. So, uh, thank you all for watching this very long episode of long for me because this episode took me the course of this one episode took me like a few hours to beat because the final boss actually had to take a small break before I gave it any more tries, because if I kept going without taking a break, I would have... My eyes would have bled, and I would have probably collapsed on the floor. So, yeah. This... Thank you all for joining me in this very long episode of Sonic Superstars Trip Story, but Trip is dead and... She's deader than Disco, so we're not gonna play as her anymore. We're gonna move on to the last story in the next episode, and then maybe go on to Battle Mode and Time Attack in the episode after that. Depending on, how, depending on how long the last story is, I might put it all together in one episode. But if the last story takes too long, I'll just make it its own individual episode and do battle mode and time attack in their own separate episode. And then after that, Sonic Super, Super, Sonic Superstars will be done. And then I'll be moving on to my next Let's Play. Not even a Let's Play, it's more of a continuation. It's the next episode of Smashing and Flashing. And yeah, like I said, if you already know, if you know what game recently came out, by the time uh, this recording actually goes off, or comes out, uh, what's today? Today's uh, technically Saturday. Man, I started recording on Friday the 10th, but it actually did go past midnight, so we're past midnight now. It's actually Saturday now. Saturday, November 11th. That's when I'm recording this, which means uh, this episode... This is like the fourth part, was it? Fourth part of my trip story mode, so... About four, four or five days from now, probably on the 15th... Yeah, probably on the 15th or the 16th is when this episode is gonna come out. But anyways, uh... It's still, even during that time frame, the game did just come out that's somewhat related to Super Smash Bros. That it's not technically Super Smash Bros., but it's Super Smash Bros. adjacent, so... I'll still include it in the episode of my Smashing and Flashing series. But yeah, I think I've dwelled on that. I've dwelled on that fact for way too long now. Um, yeah, thank you all for watching this episode of Super Sonic Superstar, Sonic Superstars Blind Playthrough. Okay. See you all later when we tackle the last story. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>